because this time of the planet something is going on beyond our control which is the virus is spreading everywhere according to some people or some kind of uh, health experts and we have to know about what I will prospect on the virus and giving you uh, some kind of we are responsible as the healthcare professionals mm. to give some kind of um, logical advice to them how to prevent that okay and the at the moment they can they ask you to wash your hands mm. fre frequently and put mask if you can but these both things are not helpful because why coronavirus nobody knows the lifespan of the coronavirus because sometimes this thing you know you can kill the virus on the surface uh, but it can remaining until nine hours six to nine hours without dying mm -hmm. so some some people saying oh it can't be you know kill at all yeah. and then the spreading the virus is also um, can't prevent by wearing a mask because why the virus is very uh, small <coughs> organism microorganism you know like smaller than very smaller than bacteria and then again it chances you can have that one is not prevent by the wearing mask and this is health organizations saying is wearing masks is very important to people who handle in the coronavirus cases or stay in um, working health uh, profession otherwise they saying one thing one time the other the other day other thing and some health professionals say okay you can wear a mask you can prevent from that and uh, some health professionals saying is no problem if you are wearing a mask or not quite um, virus can spread and then this is the idea in a western world we have not western world the whole world kill it bin it prevent it mm. kill it bin it prevent it and if you can kill the first fundamental rule about virus virus anybody can the can kill the virus no and how are you going to kill the bacteria virus is bacteria yes but virus can't kill uh, you can't kill the virus and we will go to the coronavirus you know covid 9 we call and then all we saying is there's some kind of american and you know elections time or the some kind of uh, places this is the whole thing coming SARS, MARS, you know, avian <laughs> flu, swine <laughs> flu, uh, Ebola, uh, uh, Zika virus, <laughs> Ebola and Corona. Oh and God. every two years time there is a virus. Can you? Every four years time. 20, 2004, 2008, 2010, 12, 14, 16 and 14, 16, 2 and 18 you know and every time there are some you know virus camp you know virus scared and anyway you can see this how is you know all the time this virus is coming and then what we can do is viral infection and then is most virus like SARS flu virus the bird flu HIV Ebola this all kind of viruses the what is the part the general public even don't have understand of what is the bacteria what is the virus mm -hmm. and what mm -hmm. virus do and what bacteria does you know why is really this one is very hidden from the people mm -hmm. what is bacteria what is virus and it is really important to know about why you know why bacteria can kill virus can't kill or what is bacterial infections and viral infection mm -hmm. it's like uh, the, when you uh, children go to school they have to teach that this kind of thing you know like what is bacteria what is virus we all we are living in a bacterial you know like a you know kind of environment virus environment mm -hmm. we have to live with them 
in harmony. Mm -hmm. And that is without telling that we call, you have to kill the bacteria and virus everywhere, which is you can't kill, you can't prevent from having the bacterial infection and viral infections. Mm -hmm. And then why, what's the difference be between virus and bacteria? Bacteria and virus both, you know, when you come into the uh, genomics and you, mm -hmm. as a scientist, you know, and there are the information code, DNA, mm -hmm. and virus has the, the spiral, two, uh, you know, ladders, and then this um, virus has only one RNA. Most yeah. viruses are having RNA code only, and the DNA is for the bacteria and other living organisms. And you know, when you have the kind of single code like that, single ladder that, this is very unstable, is it? Yeah. This is very stable. You know, like DNA is stable thing. And it is like information is very stable. The DNA is not going to change today to tomorrow. It is mostly staying in our DNA like, like a blueprint. Mm -hmm. Any other organisms also the same. DNA stayed as a kind of this blueprint. Uh, the information is carrying through generation to generation and until they uh, exist. And when you come into RNA, because the nature of the instability, mm -hmm. they tend to lose some information. Mm -hmm. You know, they can sometimes this part lost and that other part add. You know, that means the virus, the nature of the virus is changing all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, information change all the time. SARS can come into the mass. Mars can come into the Pluto, Neptune, something like that, you know, I don't know. This is like changing all the time. And then because of the changes, you know, you can identify like today, this uh, coronavirus. After five months later, coronavirus can come just as a corona, losing half of the limb, you know, and adding some other information. And that means it doesn't come like a, a stronger or weaker. Nobody can tell. The flu virus can come stronger or you know, weaker. And that means polio, you have virus, you know, and it's eradicated <coughs> now. But the polio, the, the, the hundreds of years ago, that virus, is the virus, you can identify now polio. Because it's like, it's losing this bit and that bit. And that means it's becoming like some, it's like a, having a cloth, different cloth, different wear. And again, this, if you're having a cloth, means same person wearing the cloth. And this is like person losing the one lip, the other limb, head and toes and things like that. And that means personality or the way of the virus is changing all the time. Mm -hmm. And that means vaccination is possible. You, when you make a vaccine, five years, it takes five, three to five years. All the research, all the blah, blah, blah has to be ten done. Years. Ten years. Yes, so scientists say, we can say ten years, you know. Mm -hmm. And ten years time, virus stay the same. Mm. And that means why we killing our children with some kind of vaccination? And this is all the time changing. Some sub stuff is changing all the time. And then we're having a, our immunity always compromised by <coughs> unnecessary information mm. given by the vaccination. But we done it. Okay, fine. And then we think, you know, polio is gone. Polio might be changed into something else. SARS going to change into mass. Mass going to change into corona. Corona to get into Ebola. And that means why it is all changing all the time. And the other thing is, all the viruses, the, the antibiotic, the virus never be killed, but antibiotic can use to kill the bacteria. Bacteria has some kind of uh, effect, virus has uh, this effect. And um, this bacteria, the bi difference between vi virus and bacteria is, bacteria have some kind of lifespan, mm. yeah. you know. Uh, living to die, the pre pre we can predict the lifespan. You know, this is 
the bacteria come and uh, to life and this is have antibiotic cause some kind of immunity bacteria dead finish the story mm. but virus can you do that no virus and bacteria there is two different other organisms you can have live and dead and then life span like that virus had not live and life there is the pe the period of uh, time they wait in like zombie yeah they are not mm. live they are not dead i am staying there like in thousands years, years you can wait millions of years they can wait like inactivate stage you know and then mm. they come to live mm. the atmosphere is right for them to live mm. everybody forgetting that bit you can't kill the bacteria virus they are okay you can the five minutes you can say oh, okay i i have vaccination we can all kill the virus what is you going to kill virus no they stay in the zombie part of another million years mm. and then million years time again comes to come to play but <coughs> as same way nobody can predict because they can lose one limbo hand or head and that mean they might be not the same virus mm. am i correct or right or wrong no, yes correct, yeah. yeah and that mean the because of the nature of the virus is cha- change in way of the nature and they says nobody can't predict the how the virus is acting in a human in a human body or outside the animals mm. body and that mean we are talking about how to dealing with virus in like a closing eye, our mm. eyes and dealing with that mm. because we don't see the nature of the this virus because virus you can't kill and then is if you thousand million times you can, can say kill it bin it can you you can't and that mean is the main different between the virus and bacteria and then why we we um, afraid of um, this virus that much you know when generally speaking why we are afraid because bacteria have two codes we can have antibiotic we can have live death place and we can kill them and you know that mean you know something you can control mm. you see yeah. you know bacteria something you can control are we now we have a super box that mean every time bacteria danger of the bacteria than virus is every time we kill the bacteria it coming out mm. super uh, you know stronger mm. and that mean every time we have antibiotic is coming like a stronger and stronger and stronger and one day your antibiotic not enough to kill the bacteria mm-hmm. and th- th- now we call it super bugs you know mm-hmm. super bugs mean that and that mean n- bacteria take the some kind of progressive pathway virus can't be progress who oh, can't be no progress mm-hmm. because why this like they like a zombie they just act according to the environment not act according to the anything as environment okay and then um the the because of the why we spread to a uh, virus is like because its information code is unpredictable it can be ebola can next time is coming like a thousand million time like stronger they can kill uh, kill on the spot the whole pay, whole planet you can evacuate all the human from the planet one day and it can happen or it can come ebola come like a sneezing mm-hmm. you know if somebody uh, contact ebola they can only sneeze five times that's the information they can hold it only and that way or this way who decide we go into the how the cell is develop in the human body why does depend on the always the bacteria live on its own mm-hmm. you know bacteria can procreate and uh, um, uh, uh, survive on its own bacteria anywhere procreate and you know they can divide their babies they can make their babies they can uh, germinate and same times they can su- um, survive on their own when you go into bacteria virus they can't they need to have a recipient host not recipient host 
host me, you need to have a live cell to multiply, multiply mm -hmm. inside. This live in there, but they have that, you know, when you live or that they decide by there is a um, live functions, eight of nine functions, virus mostly inherited four of uh, functions, you know, and that means there is four of live functions and four of dead people functions, mm -hmm. you know, like inactive functions. And that means nobody can't see that virus can survive on its own. And then it need to be have host, invitable host, mm -hmm. not host, normal host, invitable host, mm -hmm. you know. And then this host, uh, when we go into the host environment, what we can, do, what virus, virus does is they don't use, they can't, they, they don't have anything, they don't have um, uh, procreative quality or they don't have surviving quality. Why they, at that certain point, virus is uh, taking this host as a, as a kind of um, prisoner, you know, and I use your old thing, I use your food. I use your genomics, I use your DNA, I use your information to make me a kind of um, germinate or the progress inside the, uh, uh, inside the multiply in, inside in your cells. Then what happens is in like that, they come into the cell, they need to have a receptor, I will go to that Ayurveda connection in there, and then receptor mean that uh, some kind of invitation the cell need to give that invitation, otherwise they wouldn't come. The you as a virus staying here, I as a host staying here, without my invitation, you can't come. And we have very give and take my relationship. I need to invite the virus, okay? That called receptor, okay? Uh, okay, just in case you invite the virus and then it came. And when it's ca come inside, they just releasing their DNA, uh, the RNA. RNA. Then they they taking host RNA as well and al albumin acid, then uh, the, uh, the all the protein, all the everything from the cell. Then they divide, multiply, and then they bring in, uh, take in the yeah. other cell, other cell, and like that, it's like a what you call demon inside the body. It's like without even knowing the incubation period completed your cell all gone, every, every inch of your cells is dividing this, this whole thing, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, the RNA. And that means it's like in Ayurvedic, they call this like the diseases from the God. Why diseases from the God me? Because you have no control? There's no control. Mm -hmm. There is no control. You shut up and wait, it's finished the whole nonsense within you and at that point you have to do this 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 thing to obey and oh. respect this nature and that's the irony say this is like we call it a demon's disease we call it this is God way of telling you what you give and take a relationship in the planet is com completely compromised and completely uh, destroyed and that's why God God is given you that that kind of you know God mean universe you know it's not God it's God mean universe is way to eliminate the bad behaving children mm. you know and that's how we see not I'm saying me see that how we see this kind of diseases like chicken pox small pox mums measles and this kind of thing is coming, you know, everybody knows you can't kill them. You have to live with them. And then the, these loads of outbreak going still, the, this point, measles outbreak, and then mums and uh, small pox, uh, not a small pox, uh, chicken pox and their uh, mums. And people don't care for them at all. This, if five people have measles in here, what they say? Oh, the epidemic of pandemic measles, everybody have vaccine, vaccine, vaccine. And go to Sri Lanka now. Every season, April to August, every house have five P children ill with the measles and uh, the chicken pox. And it is like normal thing. And they just, 
anybody die from that? I don't think so. I, that is not that what you are seeing in here. And then when you go to poorest countries like this, you know, you can't, every time you can't immunize and go, go to corona, uh, quarantine and doing that, you impossible. If that means you know. And you know, like when you have a, uh, the mumps or measles, we put the neem leaves in, in there, you know, like kind of bunch of neem leaves outside our house and hanging over there. And then the, everybody knows this house in, has some kind of infective disorders and we have to leave that, uh, we have to not have a connection with that for a while. And that is the way, nature way of they say, be saying that politely, don't count my house. My people are sick in the house, you know. And that means it's like we don't discriminate them like now. It's like, hey, hey, you are Chinese, hey, hey, you are Italian, don't come to me. Not like that. Mm -hmm. And we respect they have a disorder now. And okay, until you come in, you know, we can have not have a contact because they politely ask us to stay away from us, you know. And that means it's like, and then other, you know, we come into that, they host, a host like that and multiply and have the uh, this you infected by corona and then good thing about how the viruses works and we have the receptor protein you know you know that receptor protein and it is some kind of invitation you call it invitation mm -hmm. and then mostly you can find the invitation given by the you know brain or hypothalamus or something like that these three four kind of receptors chemoreceptors, chemical, thermal, pressure, and the, uh, uh, the photoreceptor. And this virus, coronavirus, is called as a cold virus. You know, it like thermal receptors. Heat, mm -hmm. you know, heat. And that means our body should be given the heat receptor and the, that protein had to be produced from us to invite the disease, invite the virus. As long as if you're not giving heat, they're not going to invade us. That's what we live thousands of years. Coronavirus identified million years ago. But we live with them because we didn't put that heat receptors or heat inside our body. What is called is ayurvedically. Pitta. Pitta. And you you having pitta imbalance in your body you know that's why then we have to go to the how we having a uh, pit how this is the cold in uh, virus mm -hmm. and how everybody being mesmerized like it is developed in a cold country it is developed in a cold no it is developed in a hot environment which is your body has to be hotter than the virus then we go to the uh, mucosa okay and you can you can stay in a bucket of coronavirus okay sit down and you <laughs> you have a you have put a mask on it or you protect this mucus mouth to mouth to esophagus mouth to larynx larynx and the inside nasal uh, passage and if you protect this place do coronavirus get to you there be any way, any way, any other ways coronavirus affected you? You know, I'm asking scientists. Only the mucosa. The mucosa, yeah. mucosa, mouth to, uh, nose to, larynx, pharynx, pharynx and the, the kind of uh, the lungs. Yes. Yeah. And then mouth, uh, the nose, nasal area. Yeah. And only this area can invite the virus. That then we we be really scared for this virus. We can we can stay having a bath with the coronavirus with protecting this place. Okay, they are not affecting to you. And the other thing is when you come into the pH level in the body. Okay, mucus are pH level mucus uh, the mucus mucal layer inside the body is pH level fluctuate fluctuate six point five to five point five. Five point five five mean Acidic, is it? Mm. Yeah. And six point five is alkaline. Okay, mm. and uh, corona affected the heat receptors mean 
5.5 is the one favorable mucosal uh, pH level. If you can make it to 6.5, is Corona like you? And instead of, you know, talking nonsense, go to that. Because my, I, I will tell you how to keep 6.5 mucosa whole way through in your life. You know, <laughs> how? 6.5. Other things, 6.5 is um, uh, 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 products. Can you tell me other 6.5, that area, product? I will show you. Yeah, this is 6.5 you know this is 7 you know your normal mm, water and milk is fluctuating 6.5 to 5.5 and how it goes sour and spoiled. if you take from the cow milk just before the pasteurizing is 6.5 after pasteurization, it's become 5.5. So should we have unpasteurized milk? I don't know that. Oh, okay. But what we do that, <laughs> you know, but we do that, yeah. we will make our mucosa a little bit uh, acidity. So and avoid that. that means people have pasteurized milk can have all the bacteria viral infections. Okay. Drink milk, drink milk, drink milk, drink, have a, a virus, have a bacteria, have a virus. Can you believe this, what we are doing now? You know, and then, um, yes, if you, uh, uh, they come from cows, it's like 6.5, it's a pH level, is 6.5. And then if you pasteurize, it's a 5.5. It's, what is the mother's milk? Uh, alkalinity or acidity the is same like a human yeah. can you know 7.3 or 7.5 is same like normal uh, human flesh human conditions and that means even we giving the milk to the children is a good thing the cow's milk no the pasteurized milk Pasteurizing milk is not good thing, and then milk powder good thing, because what from the birth what we are doing is we conditions uh, condition the person's mucosa to get a little bit heat, 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 and then what happens when you getting heat the bacteria virus like the the pH level, and if you give the mother's milk what happens? Think of bacteria virus is not supposed to be in there, mm. you know, and that's why they said breast milk is the best thing children can have. Otherwise, the mucosa is a beginning. From the day one, we are going to get manipulated by the drinking milk. The mucosa becoming a little bit heat. Yeah, because you're right. The reason why milk w milk was started to gain pasteurized because there were certain bacteria in the milk's thing. Yeah. But since generation, that bacteria does not no longer lives in yeah. those in the cows and stuff. Yeah. So now, basically, when I was talking to farmers here, they were like, "You should buy raw milk," but the com but the UK is um, food industry is not allowing them to sell it. Yeah. So so now basically that bacteria is not there in their milk anymore because they do the testing themselves because they're yeah. keeping them very healthy. Yeah. So then now they're saying you shouldn't pasteurize the milk, but yeah. then they don't allow it. Yeah. So I have started buying raw milk. Yeah. And then like in India we buy raw milk. Raw milk, yeah. At home. home and put a little bit of ginger. Yes. Why yeah. the ginger? Because it increases the digestive yeah. fire. Yeah. And that means it's better uh, it can digest. And that is, it's done. Rather than pasteurizing milk, you know, kind of thing. It's because they, not just they want to kill the bacteria. They want to be palatable and uh, prevent from indigestion. That's what they pasteurize the milk. Because his gut is not supposed to have that 6.5 because it's hard to digest sometimes, mm -hmm. alkaline. And then you have to have, let me increase the digestive fire to, you know, uh, you know, uh, yeah, teas yeah, yeah, kind of thing. And then other things we're talking about here. What are the other things? And coconut water. Coconut water, what is the pH level? 
have you ever 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 research mm. oh you should <laughs> 5.5 slightly acidic mm. is that i heard of from sri lanka no before a bottle is 6.5 okay the if you go and have a uh, coconut water straight from you know the coconut, coconut yeah. from thailand or sri lanka is remaining 6.5 is cool mm. as long as coming to britain or any other country the way mm. they uh, you know uh, the bottle it or um, keep it mm-hmm. they have to go through some kind of process they need to be coming to the 5.5 ph level and that means if you drink coconut drink in here is that cooling mm-hmm. no what is coriander water coriander water exactly 6.5 and the way we make it and coriander water has the ability to make it different way do you want 6.5 i will give you 6.5 If I make boil, I will give you 5.5. If you want it to be having ginger and lime and blah, 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 I'm going, I'm going to be very acidic. acidic. You know, kind of thing. Coriander has prabhava. Prabhava means it changes this character to suit you how you want it to. You know, and that means coriander water has that. And that's what I give in coriander water to every single people in here. It has a profound effect on everybody's body. why is that we actually have 6.5 this perfect balance of the mucosa perfect balance in we create a perfect balance and the the what happen is it is diuretic cooling it's very good for your infections your infection and the cold why the the fever why is that because it's taken heat out and bring you the the 5.5 to 6.5 you know in in herpes and uh, your infections and this kind of condition i give the coriander water and coriander water what it doing is make your whole body 6.5 6.5 bacteria virus can't live and it is it's a logic you know and then there is a you know uh, uh, story about there is a this uh, van or the lorry stuck in a bridge because the roof is a little bit uh, you know low and that me then uh, emergency they call the emergency everybody came and the, all the instructors all the uh, you know fire brigade everybody's coming and saying what is the solution for that some people trying to break the bridge some people trying to take the roof off and there is a old man passing through that and the what is this big fuss about is i this lorry is stuck in, in uh, inside the bridge you know like because the roof is too um, low you know or high whatever and then the, this old man say then and then he is little bit um, bend down and take the all the little bit um, air off from the tires mm-hmm. and what happened he can pass through mm-hmm. that is exactly happened with car coronavirus was this you know like you can prevent from that mm. and it is like they just blindfolded then talking about something else mm. how can we make the 6.5 this uh, mucosa why it's uh, why is india sri lanka is this is logic this is not this is completely logic sri lanka india no coronavirus <laughs> at the moment mm. I was just in India and literally you don't hear anything about it. No. Nothing. I was thinking that. And I Africa? Was so no. I the news and I barely heard it. Why? The mucosa has 6.5, you know, that is because they drink, drink in the water, they in the equator and then they are outside is warm and they can be uh, protecting themselves being covered and then 6.5 the the coronavirus is not going to affect them. Even you going and putting corona into their <laughs> mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and corona saying i can't live in this people you know these people are so bad you know i'm going you know and this is 
Why Italy? Tomato. I'm not discriminating. Oh, so <laughs> Tomato, <laughs> cheese, alcohol, yeah. pasta, and all the heating food. Yeah. Why Finland? Yeah. It's growing there. It's, it's north. Yeah. North. Yeah. It's here, not not free. Yes. Either. Because more you getting your body heated up, mm. you invite all shit into your body. All <laughs> pee, all <laughs> virus, bacteria, all things into your body. Mm. And this is like wake up call. This is wake up call for everybody. And that's what I say. You eating the everybody eating the unnecessary amount of it, unnecessary food you're eating. You know, because you, you don't know the effect on tomato in your body. You don't know effect on pineapple in your body. You don't know effect in your avocado in your body. Because these are not substances you are normally born with mm -hmm. in here. I don't know it is favorable for your body or not. You know, and same as the meat. Now we have can cancer in India, Sri Lanka, epidemic of cancer liver disorder, disorders and kidney disorders. Why? Um, They're eating toxins. meat and stuff more because their digestion is because it's not affected to their this area. It's affected to their liver. digestion, liver. You know, it's heat up in here, not here. And then it, can you see the like a scientist you are and the medical professionals, you know, can you understand that this not that big deal to do this the coronavirus to get rid of mm. and they the world given you an example India is free five billion no trillions of people mm. live in there <laughs> one coronavirus affected effect person is enough to because sanitary is so poor <laughs> you know so poor in India Sri Lanka sanitary is so poor you know you can go to school and you know you can go to somewhere somewhere and you can get everybody can corona just like that if it is if it is can develop but it's the India Sri Lanka say we are free we are free <laughs> you know we are free you know and then they ask us to not to come to India Sri Lanka as well now they're saying you stay out of us we, we, we are so cool now you know and then <laughs> before that the other way around and they you like oh India I can't go so, you know like you know now they say you stay with your corona You are free, don't come here, you know. And then what, what happened to us? You know, because this is, our body <coughs> became more acidic. We invited all the uh, infections around the world to us, you know. And again, the constitution-wise, the equator, near the equator, a couple type of people live there, mm. you know. Africa to India to Sri Lanka, all the hot countries, you know. And then they tend to keep the heat Uh, uh, heat out, out. Cool, cool in, heat out and the protect themselves they have to make the alkaline inside the body. The, uh, the space need to be, be, be more alkaline and that means they became more copper. It's a, not they became copper, their genes are more copper, copper genes to protect them from the you know uh, the other kind of disasters you know heat related disasters but here what happening is we are more in here to create pitta inside high uh, the heat inside the body to protect from the cold outside and that means we are normally hot bodies heat and that means we tend to go to ph level high more you know low you know 5.5 and then the uh, the india sri lanka people near the equator people is going to more Uh, the uh, 6.5 kind of keeping your little bit alkaline to protect yourself and that means the virus who which favorable for the um, acidic level is going to grow in people like more acidic or more cold places, uh, uh, cold places mm -hmm. uh, you know cold places with warm bodies. warm bodies cold places with warm bodies but western people don't identify warm body They understand cold virus only. They don't identify heat receptor, you know, which is the protein, the hot protein, invitation, given an invitation to the virus to come and, uh, you, know, uh, you know, you know, get me, you know, and that one they ignored. 
they ignore that bit they're going to kill the virus which can't kill forever you know never can can kill then we come into the um, the coriander water and then uh, 6.5 you know uh, you know the other thing is uh, coconut water and then best thing is the 6.5 is remaining is coconut coconut oil coconut anything coconut you know and because that's another thing they protect the all the um, uh, people in that kind of equator is protected by the 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 coconut the coconut the, when you see the coconut tree what you see what you see is like very tall is and it is uh, the flesh is really white mm -hmm. and it is near to the you know kind of you know uh, soma kind of sun a uh, moon they attract more moon qualities you know and it's called mm -hmm. coconut is this um, sloka coming nali nari kelam palam datri datri means the which hold you know is uh, you know the tsunami hit in sri lanka all the big buildings wipe it out but coconut trees wow. standing alone like i am not going to go because it's the immunity coconut has biggest immunity mm -hmm. and coconut work in a two ways one is increasing the immunity or so much quality in the body and the other one is coconut is protective make a protective barrier which is making 6.5 into the body protective barrier that's what you know you you put coconut into your hand is barrier 6.5 virus hate it you know and inside the mucosa inside the whole area is like if you can make the 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 layer 6.5 is bacteria virus coming but it can't germinate inside multiplying side and this is simple simple theory and the other thing is you know uh, how do we take coconut how do you take uh, coconut normally i ask you to uh, take the cotton bud and then put the uh, coconut onto the uh, your mucosa inside the nas nose and around the um, lips and onto your lips and then other thing there is a way to make the the whole place mucosa into that level you there is a way to make the coconut how this making is like a, you have to take the coconut flesh you can put the video if you want to i made a little bit video how to make the you know uh, coconut and then you can eat that and you can keep your mucus all the time this equal kind of the 6.5 uh, alkaline this is the piece of coconut you can see already it's made for eating and this the uh, fresh coconut you mash the coconut or break it and take the flesh of the coconut like this you can see the outer coat or skin is brown color and the flesh is white color and then you can take the knife and slice into the like a half an inch kind of pieces and then take a fork and insert that into the flesh and put the fire on uh, and burn in a open fire like this until it's getting kind of blackish brown and you can see uh, and you can hear the noises you know like uh, spitting of oil and uh, it is absolutely okay and you can see the burning uh, the flesh and the nice coconut smell is coming and all we do we have to burn it takes at absolutely like uh, one minute or you know 30 seconds sometimes and it's depend on your fire if you have a good fire it's like and it actually you can do this one is if you're uh, making for your whole family you can get out get the barbecue thing out and put all the coconut in there like a pieces and uh, you can um, leave it uh, in a airtight container to daily using daily uses yeah
and you can see the coconut is becoming like a little bit brownish color and only make sure is coconut is not burning with the flame you know and just just you need to have it like this kind of dark color outside and inside light you know, white and brown yeah thank you with the coconut taste like that I can I'm cooking good with the cooking you see <laughs> and and, and uh, what happening is you know coconut that uh, brown color uh, the outer skin whole lot of oil mm. not the coconut you know like inside the flesh and that oil is like uh, really uh, hold the kind of uh, pH level and that's why it's very important to get oil from the uh, the outer, you know, like a brown color thing. And it is it's burning and it is, um, a, you know, kind of smell is very nice. And when you eat that, you have to eat like a chewing gum. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Slowly, slowly. You have to eat and get the emulsifying act in your whole mucosa. Emulsifying me? It is oil and water mm. together mixing up and in like emulsifying mean you know like it, it that action staying with you for at least three four hours emulsifying the uh, when you emulsifying you know like like dermavid when you put the dermavid is make like you know the heat absorbs from the uh, mucosa mm. and same times have a barrier you know both is happening at the same time can we do uh, some experiment? I will come to your uh, place, yeah. you know, you know, <laughs> you know, and the, I mean, this is necessarily, this is very necessary, it's important people to say how to prevent from this, you know, and it is like how to keep your balance in that pH level to <coughs> kind of not uh, have the, not mm, infected by this virus and poor viruses poor bacteria we all need to live together you know we can't you know the word you come in like kill it bin it mm -hmm. what happening to you you know you're becoming like monsters and instead of that and other thing this all the in Sri Lanka I had to tell the story you know like in Sri Lanka you know like in India there's a battles you know like all the uh, ancient time and they go on to um, Mm, you know like uh, fights and wars and stuff like that they taken the oh, every time their first aid boxes oil cake coconut oil cake brand seed coconut oil cake and if they have cut and sauces or something like that they use a lot of um, bows arrows and then the, the swords and stuff like that always yeah. uh, uh, can infect the tetanus the other side western side they all killing all be killed with uh, this kind of diseases you know yeah. all invaders but Sri Lankan and Indian people know how to prevent that they put the cut uh, the place which cut or something they put the coconut uh, the oil cake and bandage it for a while and then what happened the tetanus never affected them and later on uh, years time they recognized that um, in there, there is a fungus is growing and it is like penicillin. Mm -hmm. It's a penicillin is that um, the thing they <coughs> deal with at that point, you know, like to, in oil cake, they make a like, lot of the fungus, is fungus recognized later on the um, time, is like a penicillin. And this kind of thing is, is really, if you go dig into the, this ancient way how we protect from the viruses bacteria and plagues and this kind of disorders we can find so many ways we can live harmony with this with these bacteria and viruses we can't have vaccination is like a stupid idea they kill they kill they kill they come in like uh, information is like a, I say the nature of the virus 
there is no way you can't predict the uh, behavior of the virus and the bacteria you can't kill because why they come in as resistance you know and that mean what we have to do in Ayurvedic way to keep our environment alkaline, alkaline in favorable for the virus for the <coughs> virus and that is the only way in favorable we can do that you know we can do really and you know this eating that kind of coconut it's like staying the emulsifying factor in your whole mucosa for two hours three hours and the 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 virus is really don't like rancid coconut oil rancid yes. coconut oil is the very unfavorable thing for the virus so mouthwash with the coconut oil as well that is one thing they do to get cleanse the bacteria and virus but they overdoing it and that means they taken all the bacteria virus out and more alkaline and it is kind of give you some kind of adverse effect to the uh, body and then uh, you ask the coconut is the same kind of uh, effect you know outside food you can um, <coughs> you know you, when you use the uh, food from the uh, topical environment is have an effect on the same like other like having pineapple or something like that but it's not this is we use this one to as a reaction not like we're going to I'm going to I'm not asking you to eat coconut every day like that mm. because this is like prevention you know now it's like a um, your if your mucosa is a 5.5 you might get the virus and then to prevent from that you can eat like that and it is the one for period of time is make sure you take as a precaution it's not like a some kind of another uh, lifestyle mm -hmm. eating habit you know kind yeah. of thing and the co coriander water also very good for they ask you to um, as a prevention they ask you to take sip by sip water and you have to make your mucosa is really little bit um, uh, that's what the, the advice is I see little bit sip by sip you can drink water and that mean what they're saying is to keep your alkaline a little bit the water is kind of alkaline but yeah. if you have sip by sip you uh, drink coriander water you might be really uh, favorable for your uh, mucosa to be alkaline you know and you learn something now yeah. Yeah. so there's five children with uh, the getting uh, chicken fox or chicken fox and the mother decide I will go not going to work or whatever I will look after you you know who not going to get it the chicken fox his mother mm. why the love yeah. you know if he, he love is the immunity if doctor decide I can die fine don't worry I will work with these people day and night I is protected mm. because the love the ojas mm. is make your immunity and 6.5 mucosa <laughs> you know and beautifully that's what is a beautiful yeah, yeah. sorry but like mother Teresa you know yeah. anywhere you can go to slums you can go to everywhere you can keep yeah. your balance yeah. the virus and uh, the bacteria blessing you yeah. you know blessing you because the I look after Katie and Alex when they have uh, when they have uh, chick, uh, the chicken fox I didn't get it and when everybody affected in my house I didn't get it in there because I my mom and me is the one help everybody you know my dad got it everybody got it and then I had to help my mom to you know like we both like fall into the place like I had to help my mom mom had to help everybody and we both didn't get it and then when somebody who come into that is a doctors yeah. protected by the uh, prote doctors have immunity if you are a good doctor why your love your compassion your energy is you can work for 10 hours without food without anything your ojas is so good any bacteria virus is like no I'm not hurting you because I can't too too cruel to hurt you because you have so much love so much energy what has happened to uh, China they take the <laughs> spiritual pillar away mm -hmm. you know completely cut all the uh, nonsense kind of nonsense all the religious all the everything they go and 
superbly you know to the you know the way kill all the animal eat all things we can do anything we like we can we can abuse and what happened the nature stand up for them and say you know darling you can't do that I am in charge. Yeah. We have to look at it in a very different way wow. about this virus and bacteria. <laughs> and more, you know, in the indirect way, what is it, the, the th first chakra, Mooladhara chakra. Mm. You know, which Mooladhara means, which hold into the universe, mm. is you abuse by how? Excessive consume, mm. excessive sexual indulgence. You take the spiritual killer away. And that how you're going to mm. face up to the, the truth mm. about. And the nature's way is you can't live like an animal. Then mean whichever invade animal is invaded to you. Mm. Is it? The, the virus invading the animal is why, why it's our, our body became an animal's body. We shouldn't be 5.5 animal body. We should be loving, caring, you know, only thing is for the corona is like any viruses, love, immunity, love, care, you know, think about other person, think about your consuming ha ha ability, the people consuming more and the indulging more, there is uh, your brothers, your sister, your soulmate, your part of soul is dying without <coughs> food, starvation, and we all in one. Here. And then if you can't recognize that, what happening? Nature never hold you. Muladhara mm. Chakra, if you abuse that, nature never hold you. You know, which sanitary you have, which, uh, you know, money you have, what amount of uh, the knowledge you have, India and Sri Lanka stand alone, hey, we live, you die. <laughs> what you can do? <laughs> what you can do? Nothing, mm. unless you change your behavior towards to we can't kill everything. You know, we have to see the harmony, the beautifulness of being one, whole, whole you know, there's the, the almighty out there is watching you, how my children behaving like that. And that means there is consequences. You know, there is consequences apply to everybody us you and you know Sri Lanka so many people have cancers why indulgence of crazy food and the habits and the nature way to saying hey you're going the right wrong way you know I'm going to put you out of this planet you know and that way I think it's most important thing don't worry you don't feel like you know I am scared for this one that's why See you, everybody you leave, you, you die. Except your death is a very good thing, you know. And then when you do like that, you feel like, hey, so doctors came to the, our, our, our profession, we came because of that, is it? We want to help somebody, we want to look after somebody, we want to, you know. And as long as it's there, our immunity is going to be there as a practitioner. Our immunity, the, like Mother Teresa, you can go to any slums, any kind of uh, uh, wards, any AIDS, a any people. It's a kind of Diana is going to AIDS people. And if she has a really good heart, you will be protected, you know, kind of thing. And that's what the, the lot of doctors in a healthcare workers has not getting, you know, if they're not scared. Mm -hmm. They wanted to die with the patients. They wanted to day and night. It, it, you can't, you know, like... A, the especially young children, like five years to ten years, them taken away from the mothers because of the corona and then they die. You are going to be their mother as a doctor, you see? As a nurse, you are going to be because they are crying for mothers, they are crying for, because the disease is that such strong in China and everywhere else because they have taken the children who affected the children, taken away from the, the, the mothers. And at that point, the child need who? Mm -hmm into their life, the mother. They don't give you, and in that place, you as a doctor, you become their mothers, mm. you see? 
you th- mm-hmm. became their carers, their, their, the nurses and all healthcare workers. And even though they don't like it or whatever, they have to fall into that place because somebody has to look after these people, especially children. And that means they have immunity, you know? And the love is the immunity. It's love. I begin with the course, you know, saying to you, love is the immunity. I can say again and again, love, kindness, compassion mm-hmm. is immunity. You know, if you have that one, that three things with, with your heart, nobody can't touch you, mm-hmm. you know? And that's it, okay? <laughs> And you, I think you learn a lot about yeah. coronavirus, what <laughs> the myth, how you prevent, you know. And simple thing you can do like this is prevent you from having the, uh, you know, stay away from the alcohol, yeah. stay away from the uh, tomatoes, red wine, red, a lot of pita, pita uh, the uh, food, mm-hmm. okay, pita food. And make sure you having like a lot of meditation the uh, calming down yoga, calming, the, you know, like think about other people, think about life and death, what is your question about your life, what's next, and this kind of thing, people need to understand more, you know, otherwise, mm-hmm. Almighty give you a kick and say, mm-hmm. here, yeah, take here deep, we go. Really deep breathing, yeah. That makes your blood very, alkaline. Yeah. Yes, alkaline. Very good. <laughs> Just deep breathing. Deep breathing. Yeah. yeah. And that's what is a hyperventilation or something like if people, when you have the panic attack or something, they, you know, like you have to bring the alkaline into, you know, your body. And then deep breathing. But instead of what they're doing, put a mask. Mm. Completely opposite. Mm. When you have a mask, can you deep breathe? No. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like uh, I, I mean, I will, I will die nicely without having mask because I feel like I'm hyperventilation and I'm suffocating a lot. You know, kind of thing. If you put a mask, unnecessary. You know, and that means the, the what you're saying is opposite thing you're doing. You know, 